Hey, greetings, Calvary family. All right, so you're joining us live. No, not in Survivor that you might see on television on, uh, on Wednesday nights, but you're joining us live in the state of Maryland where we're not only surviving, but we're thriving by the power of God in this day and in this hour. We recognize that all manner of things are, are going on at this moment in history, but I want to tell you something. You've been created for just such a time as this. I believe that God has us here on purpose. This isn't by accident. There's a design. And I believe that as we step up in God and continue to allow him to minister through us, whew, I'm looking for revival to take place and I'm looking for lives to be transformed. Now, we're here on, uh, on our stage and uh, we've had some of our creative folks come and put this together. You're going to be seeing, starting this Sunday morning, a, a message series that's, uh, that's called Surviving. We're going to do probably about four weeks. Uh, we'll see how, how things go. But this week we're going to be talking about surviving a bad report or surviving bad news. As you know, there's been just a, a little bit of that that's gone on in the last little bit. However, when we do this through God, it does not destroy us. Now, if you're receiving this video today, it means that you are a leader here at Calvary. You're one of our, our pastors or ministers or, or lay leaders, and we honor the ministry of God and the working of the Holy Spirit through your life. This is a moment in destiny where we're calling for all hands on deck. So if you're a leader, we're asking you to step up into something that's brand new for us. We're initiating something called pastoral prayer teams. Now, the importance of that is during this time, we cannot allow people to lose connection to one another or lose connection to God. People are sitting home at night and they're, they're being saturated with the news from, uh, from TV, from the internet. We need to make sure that they are connected to the source of life. They're connected to, to Jesus. And so while I may not be able to do that individually, I'm calling on you as leaders to help me to fulfill this vision to do this. What we're doing in these pastoral care teams is we're gathering together groups of about eight folks or families that would join under one leader. If you're watching this video, that would be you. We're go looking to give you eight families, and what, here's what we're asking you to do. We would ask that you would contact them at least once a week. Now, it doesn't have to be a phone call, even though that's preferable. Uh, for s some of the younger generation especially, they probably don't want that. They're looking for uh, text, or, or they're looking for uh, social media, or they're looking for email. Whichever way you can contact them is just fine, uh, but we need to make sure that we are connected together in Jesus Christ. When you contact them, here's what we're asking you to do. We're asking you to, to make sure that they know that you're reaching out on behalf of the church, that, that we want to stay connected with them. Listen to them and find out what's going on in their lives. What prayer needs do they have? And then stop and take a, a few moments with them and simply agree with them in prayer. Believe for God to move in their lives, in their families. Now, so the first thing is prayer request. If you find out something big, let's say that someone has been diagnosed with cancer, what we're asking you to do is contact us at the, the church office. Let us know that's going on, and we can include it in uh, the wide prayer group. But after you do that, make sure that, that you're praying with the person. And then secondly, we'd like you to ask them to, if, if they've been able to connect with the church, ask them if they're able to see our services online. Um, make sure you know how to do this. And all you have to do, very easy, is go to our church website, which is cciwc.org. That simply stands for Calvary Chapel International Worship Center, then .org. You're going to see a link front and center there where they can watch the services, where they can give, and then also where they can tune in to the prayer. Ask them, are you able to connect with the prayer times? We're going to be praying during the day, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, starting at 9.30 in the morning. That's going to be our prayer live. And then every single night, Monday through Friday, is going to be 7 p.m. Uh, for our Hope Connect. So we encourage you to make sure that they have what is on our website, the phone number to call in, and the access code. Make sure they know how to do all those things. And don't worry, I will send you an information sheet. So all you'll have to do is talk through it and talk through the bullet points. Really, we're looking for about a three to four minute connection um, that lets them know that somebody cares about them and, and, and keeps them connected. 
So if you're willing to do that, I'm going to ask you to respond to this text or email, however you're receiving this, and let me know that you're in with this. We're asking about 20 of you to be a part. We need all hands on deck to make this work. So please be a part with us. And remember, you're not going under during this time. You're surviving. Speaking of that. There's my exit music. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.